is Chloe Jensen and I'm in Doctoral Proficiency's Accounting 6100 class and I'm going to be presenting on my research paper that is the dilemma, Ethical Dilemmas in Whistleblowing. Um, the first part that I would like to start on is whistleblowing is becoming an action that needs to be um, more prevalent in our business community because fraud is growing. However, it's not happening. And I'm thinking the reason behind this is the types of employees that we have employed in our business community. Um, I would like to go over the, fir the four types of employees that I see within the business community. The first one are employees that are loyal to their ethical values only. They'll blow the whistle no matter what. And the only bad part about this is that they're not loyal to the company at all. Uh, the second type of employee is one that is loyal just to the organization. This employee is a little dangerous to have employed with you because they're willing to do whatever it takes for the organization, including setting aside their ethical values. The third type of employee is an employee with no moral values at all. This is the most dangerous type of employee that I see because they will commit fraud no matter what. The final type of employee that I'd like to discuss is the middle ground employee. This employee is actually one that I see that will face the most ethical dilemmas in their employment and with whistleblowing. That's because they are both loyal to their ethical values and to the organization at hand. So the middle ground employee, they will face ethical dilemmas um, if they were to blow the whistle and the, there are four ethical dilemmas that I'd like to discuss that they may face. The first one is that the employee may lose their job. Um, this will cause the employee to not, to not want to blow the whistle because they are worried about losing their job. The second ethical dilemma is because they are not just focused on themselves, they are worried about their co-workers and how the co-workers will be hurt in the aftermath of blowing the whistle. The third ethical dilemma is knowing that they didn't blow the whistle. So if they were to choose not to blow the whistle and wait, eventually someone would and they would have to live with the guilt that they never did blow the whistle and that could have been done earlier on. The final ethical dilemma is fear of retaliation and employees will hold back from blowing the whistle because they're worried they'll lose their job or that they'll get a dock in pay or move down in a position because they blew the whistle. Um, in order to bring up more whistleblowers in our business community, there are some solutions that I see being important and that need to be implemented. The first solution is education. I think it's important that we educate employees on ethical values and also educate employees on the whistleblowing procedures. If they don't know what they're supposed to do, then they won't blow the whistle. The second solution is to have a tone at the top. In an article mentioned in my paper, uh, it's called Creating an Effective Whistleblowing Environment. There are four pillars that hold up an ethical environment in an organization. The first pillar is hiring and developing potential whistleblowers. The second, educating employees. Third, promoting and reporting of wrongdoing. And fourth, analyzing and responding to all reports. And all of these pillars, if they were implemented, I believe would help set a correct tone at the top. Um, if you hire employees that are ethically sound, then they'll be more likely to promote ethical values. Educating employees we talked about on the previous slide and then promoting reporting of wrongdoing. If employees know that they can report whistleblowing they'll be more likely to do it and then taking the reports seriously and responding to those reports. So if all this is done management will appear ethical and therefore be and therefore the ethics will trickle down to the lower man to the lower employees. In conclusion, I believe that if management of an organization were to implement the solutions that I talked about, that there would be a change at the tone of the top 
and more of those middle ground employees that I talked about will be created and be within the organization, which will then decrease fraud and also increase our increase whistleblowers. And that is it. Thank you.